Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Shitcoms. Dylan could not shut the fuck up about goddamn Soul Man, goddamn Soul Man, with Dan Aykroyd! From 97? Uh, yes. Ugh. Man, it was a big deal, apparently, with the whole Soul Man day, sh like, devoting an entire day with Rudolph Giuliani and... Rudolph Giuliani, who caused a big fucking stir over the debate of what art was because of Piss Christ. Yeah, and... He was super mad about Piss Christ, don't but forget, Soul Man must have been high art to him. Well, and don't forget old, uh, old Robert Maplethorpe's self-portrait with a uh, bullwhip up his ass. <laughs> Did he not like that either? No, he wasn't too big a fan of that. At least oh. I think that might have been Ed Koch. Might have been before old Rudy. How am I doing? But, Ed Koch. <laughs> but yeah, uh, anyway, Soul Man. Soul Man, mo motorcycle priest. Yeah, motorcycle priest with a dead wife. Oh. Um, you know, single dad with a dead wife and, you know, raising his kids all in the way he can. Yeah. Without his wife. <laughs> like Quasimodo. Saunters in. There's definitely a face on the lampshade, though. Yeah. What the fuck? Did you sit on those mouth what? those toys? <laughs> you don't, Fred. I'm going to uh, Oh, he almost killed his kid. I don't get some rest, I'm gonna start taking hostages back to your home. Uh -oh. Maybe give them beds. <laughs> they just sleep on motorcycles. <laughs> Stacks of motorcycles. What's wrong with the girl? Oh, she's having a fit. Oh no, she's doing an impression on mommy. <laughs> You know how that makes me feel, honey. Uh, I'm sleepwalking. Mm. <laughs> Don't you have to be asleep? Well, you just woke me up. Jonathan Taylor Thomas, if you took his child face, cut it off, and put it on an adult head. <laughs> Which is what you did, soul man. <laughs> you did this to He's me. He's just a monster. <laughs> With your creepy <laughs> priest powers. Pray for a dumber father. <sighs> you sung some fucking blues song, did incantation. <laughs> And did voodoo. Oh, dog, no. better be a dog. Oh, God man. damn it! Oh, it's a contortionist child. Oh wait, how many kids do you have? Why don't you pull out of your dead wife for? Wait, wait. So when he's talking to God, it's him talking to a camera up sh up up here. Just talking to us, just breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, letterbox. Okay. God. Oh man. Oh. Way worse than I remembered. This is really bad. Oh, the bishop. Who pays for your motorcycle, Mr. Soul Man? <laughs> right? It's not like taxed either. He's a fucking Shit. elevation church. Is it me, no Mrs. Foster, to hospital again last Wait, time? how many kids does he have? Well, this is like fucking 12. That's what I'm saying. The guy never do that to pull out. Is, is he Catholic? His wife yeah. probably died in fucking labor. While on the motorcycle. Yeah, she was trying to give birth in the motorcycle and they crashed. She's trying to give birth to a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just raises a motorcycle up like one of his own. <laughs> That's why Jonathan Taylor Thomas looks so weird. It's his skin on top of a motorcycle. Oh, okay. You look like you died yesterday and nobody told you. <laughs> no, my wife funny. did. Well, no, she died at the beginning of the first season. Well, presumably. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they had like a retooling in the second season, and it's like, oh, your wife's back. That's her. Now. She's just an asshole. <laughs> She's a smarky ghoul. <laughs> she only talks to you when nobody else is around. <laughs> exactly. Oh yeah. <laughs> so He's, look at that. He's wearing a motorcycle shirt. I know. If it's not motorcycle, it's blues. If it's not blues, it's religion. I don't know. If it's not blues, it's religion. <laughs> It's a, he, he worships at the House of Blues. And if it's not religion, it's flannel. You shouldn't talk down to them. You should try to be entertaining. I don't know. Use some voices or something. Do Schwarzenegger as Jesus. I'll be back. Oh. Easter. Hey, yeah. This is Easter weekend when we're filming this. Oh, uh, yeah. Appropriate. Happy Ishtar. Mm. Happy Ishtar. These men are pawns. Well, I don't have a husband. Well, my wife's dead. What do you want from me? Uh, right? Well, you want me? Soul man's credit roll. <laughs> you got a motorcycle looking one way, you got a dead wife looking the other, and you got soul men in the middle. Go, what do you want from me? Men always think women are crying. God, that is such a man thing. <laughs> well, she wasn't crying. She was just using her eyes to fucking put moisture on the edge of the envelope so that it would 
be able uh, to I was, stick. I was going to hope she was going to give him a real tough, angry hand job she's using her tears as lube. I don't know. She's not crying. She's got stigmata of the eyes. This feels like home improvement, but instead it's like church improvement. Yeah. <laughs> This is like it would be the intro would just be a steeple being constructed. Amen. Jesus. <laughs> this is like what Home Improvement would be if it was just focusing on Wilson <laughs> or Al, who's a priest and nobody really realized it. Well, he was always like you know giving inspirational advice and shit like this. It's kind of the same thing. And he was Dan Aykroyd. Sure. I'm a trained counselor. I can usually pick up on these things. You said that already. I'm a trained counselor. Right? I don't take credit for it. <laughs> you know, I... I don't know anybody who's super religious that just looks up. That just talks to the ceiling, yeah. <laughs> Feels like they're mocking. Right? He's talking to aliens. What he's doing. He's talking to ghosts. He is talking to aliens. That's why that lampshade was there. I did not talk to you! Boy, I tell you, this show is definitely worthy of the day that Rudolph Giuliani spent. Oh, absolutely. Taxpayer money to. You know. Absolutely. I feel like I've never heard him referred to as Rudolph Giuliani. Yeah. And so we're like, that's his name. <laughs> Sorry, should I say Rudy? Yeah, just say Rude. The, the movie of the same name. Just Rudy oh, God, these fucking Giuliani. Oh, uh, we saw an instant of, little instant of a commercial instance. Why isn't there a woman at the head of the table? Oh. Don't show us the fucking wraparounds if you're not gonna show us the commercials. It's just a fucking tease. How can we have to go to bed just because you're tired? Yeah, if you're thirsty, do I have to drink water? <laughs> yeah, may as well. Look at that hideous that vest he's wearing over that joke. same goddamn <laughs> motorcycle shirt. Like we're not gonna know. We get it. You got a good deal at Goodwill. <laughs> Sleeping your bed? Absolutely not. <laughs> what? You still afraid of John the Baptist? Yes. <laughs> well, maybe just this once. Would it help if I told you it was fake? <laughs> and please, God, don't let anybody hack my head off and put it on a plate. What? <laughs> That's so hilarious that they've traumatized as a child. You gotta learn them. how to enunciate if you want God to hear you. <laughs> he doesn't listen to mumble mouths. <laughs> Speaking of which, we should watch an episode of Fat Albert one day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> should we? With the, I don't know. The dark Paul with Bill Cosby hanging out. That's not a race thing. That's only more of a reason to. I wish that this show had started like Seinfeld, but he was at the, like, pulpit. And, like... <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal with communion wafers? They don't even have a flavor. Or it would be like 90210 and it would be at the pulpit. It reminds me of that crappy den where he sat me down and he said, Honey, you know, I just don't think the marriage is working anymore. Oh, yeah, that's right. Her husband's divorced here. Look at Jesus. He's like, Don't that's bring me into this shit. That's like stern Clint Eastwood Jesus. Look at him. <laughs> that's stern talking to an empty chair at the <laughs> RNC Jesus. <laughs> It's like an ugly wool shirt. When you first put it on, it itches. It's like an ugly motorcycle shirt that you never seem to take <laughs> off. And even and if you put a vest on over it, it still looks shit. <laughs> I hope I'm not interrupting. Oh no. Why does he have so many those on his lapels? Like he has a comical amount, like fucking office space. <laughs> like flare. <laughs> fucking uh, awareness flare. Yeah. Mrs. Foster's not quite rational. She's not thinking clearly. Yeah. You're worried she's not... Yeah, you say that in a room full of people that are supposed to play. Uh, you know I'm going with this. So... Ew, was that supposed to be milk or fucking tap water? It's fucking cloudy as <laughs> yeah. shit. I think he put, like, a Alka-Seltzer in it or something. Oh, okay. Because he was going, like... Milk. Let's have a very special episode about the fucking water in this town. Jesus. You're only here because that fat-ass bishop told you to come. <laughs> well, that's not true, Mrs. Foster. The bishop's buttocks are exactly where they should be on a man. You know what's a good show? Jeez. Father Ted. Oh, yeah! That's a good show. I still haven't watched episodes of Father Ted. I really gotta get into <coughs> doing that. You know, it's a really, Everything I've seen is great. You know what's a really good show? Atlanta. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Some minister you turned out to be denying a dying woman her last pedicure. <laughs> Do you just kill every woman you go around <laughs> This woman wasn't even in, like, the terminal ward. She was just, like, in for a mammogram or something. He's gonna punch her through the Bible so it doesn't leave marks. <laughs> God damn. I don't think you have any idea who you're dealing with here. No. My father 
opened the first brewery in the state. Brewery. All right, look, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just a little tired. Uh-huh. I'm just looking over at Mark's face, and you, your entire face looks glazed over. Mm-hmm. Just... Just don't blow smoke this up. This is going on for so long. I know, Jesus. Why is he oh, still talking? Get this girl out. Out. I'm going to give all my money. Oh! <laughs> there are moments when you wish you still had your uterus. You don't, you don't need a uterus to have sex. Yeah. Or do you and, want and to have you, babies? And then, unless you want to have, like, downy babies. He's a soul man. <laughs> Let's just roll. Turn the light out before you go. Hot stuff. <laughs> Please, I only fuck motorcycles now. Looks like she's been falling in the bed. It's <laughs> an outtake about she's that. She's stealing her money. Oh. Ugh, one of her teeth um, are in here. Ugh. Tastes like denture cream. You really need that, right? <laughs> oh! oh with a tuchus like that. Oh, wait. She's um, omnipotent. <laughs> oh, good. She ate her dessert. She won't take her medication, so I had to put her sleeping pill in her pudding. Oh, no! Oh, shit. He's gonna get in a wreck on he's, the way home. He's been trying to get a good night's sleep. He's gonna get turned. Oh, yeah! Oh, shit. It's a blessing in disguise. Father lit, am I right? <laughs> would, would sleeping pills make you lit? No. It'd be the opposite, no, no. right? I think so. I'm not an expert on being lit. Oh, he man, rode his motorcycle here, even. He's all smacked out. Smacked my priest up. Damn, <laughs> man. <laughs> it's fucking 10 acre doing around drinking a bunch in fast motion. Yep. Drinking a lot of his fucking crystal skull vodka. <laughs> Vomiting in the toilet that one shot a little bit. Yep. I hear that vodka's really good. Like, yeah. it's really clear but smooth. I mean, like... It's vodka, crisp. though. So. Yeah, but I mean, like, with vodka, yeah. you get, you know... You, you thought the beer shit. was bad? Oh, well... There, dude, if you, if you just had... If you just smelled by vodka, you'd be like... Oh. Didn't I fucking try it that one time for, for New Year's? No, that was, that, that, that was champagne. No! <laughs> what, what, what Justin brought over, those <laughs> tiny sampler bottles. <laughs> oh, yeah, this New Year's. Uh, no, that was... That was uh, Firefly sweet tea. I'm pretty sure. Or was there also vodka? I think there were different types of vodka too. The little sample bottles. Maybe. Well, did it just like taste like rubbing alcohol smells? Yeah, it was bad. Okay, then yeah. It was really bad. It just seems like everyone in my life. It was like lemonade flavored. It was rough. That's right, it was like a lemonade. I think it was. Smear enough, maybe? I don't know. No. Mark's dried alcohol, guys! Plenty of them. We well, tried at least five of them. Yeah. yeah. He hated them all. Not now. You never were. Oh, oh man. shit.